Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. This is a 12 by 12 acrylic on canvas called Acrobat. And I'll show you my colors. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and list these colors in the description so you can have a little bit more detail on what went into them. Uh, these are a little bit thicker consistency and this is not the same sort of cloud pearl pour that I've been doing. This is more of kind of a stretched lacing concept um, over a puddle. So uh, it's a, the base coat is just regular satin house paint and I mixed it with some Floetrol and some water. And I did put a little bit of GAC 800 in there just to give it a little bit, um, you know, just to kind of make sure it doesn't crack. So this is uh, in preparation for a couple large canvases. Um, and it's also, I'm, I'm working on a collaboration piece that I'll be doing with, um, with Gail Burston. And the, uh, the mix that, I, that I'm, so that's just another little puddle of the, the white base coat. So Gail and I did a collaboration, oh gosh, probably three or four months ago using the Amsterdam mix, uh, which is a lovely and kind of simple way to get really pretty lacing. Um, it's just like one part Amsterdam, either titanium white or the black oxide works really well, and one part paint to about three or four parts Floetrol. I think I did about three parts in my mix. And I will admit I added a little bit of GAC 800 also into my Amsterdam mix just because I feel like it gives it um, a little bit better dry result. Uh, so I'm just kind of doing a, a pretty puddle of sorts, <laughs> a squiggly, and I put that line of gold around the outside. Um, I kind of had a concept in mind for that and uh, it actually did kind of work out. So uh, yeah, I'm just putting the more transparent colors on top, like that's the Modern Masters, although I put it on the bottom there, but kind of the metallics on the bottom and then a more transparent paint on top seems to make this even more beautiful, just the way it kind of spreads out over the color and, and it kind of gives like, I almost want to say like almost kind of a watercolory or sort of stained glass appeal. It's a, it's a fun technique. So, and then that's the Amsterdam mix over there on the left side of your screen there. And I'm just taking a palette knife and kind of running that paint over top the colors and it's so fascinating it just kind of releases these really pretty cells um, and I like the way they look after they've been stretched out so this one kind of in the end it reminded me of maybe like an acrobat flying through the air um, it, it's uh, it's just a fun thing that that I've been ex that I've been exploring and yeah, I think it can be scaled in some different ways, and there's a lot of things that can be done with, of course, color and composition. So I am, I am going to show you two videos, or two paintings in this one video. Uh, the second one I called Stained Glass, and it's the same color palette. Um, this painting, when it dried, um, it didn't dry perfectly. Uh, I am going to put it for sale uh, because it's it's lovely. Um, and so on the second painting, I, what I did is I thinned down my base coat more than, than how it was in this painting, just to kind of see. And I definitely got more movement and it dried really nicely. So just kind of trying to strike a balance between, you know, movement and also keeping it thick enough where it doesn't just sort of fall apart um, and I will tell you one trick about this is that and I, I know it's called a pillow and uh, you know I've, I've studied a lot of different types of fluid art and so when I'm trying to kind of put things together in my head um, or figure out how to achieve a certain result you know you'll kind of draw from your bank of knowledge other things that you've that you've seen and what I've noticed is if you put a thicker puddle of white paint down, in this case, it kind of, do you see how it kind of helps carry the paint? And 
this is kind of a slow and steady process. If if I just kind of dump it off one side or another, it's the we're going to lose some of that really pretty patterning. So I'm letting that pillow of white paint just sort of carry the colors around the canvas. And it's really fun. You know, you can get some different sorts of negative space and different things happening when you just kind of let let it carry it around and see what happens. So I hope you enjoy and uh, check out my Instagram. I've been putting some kind of different, unique, fun things over there. And it's been such a wonderful journey. Um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, feel free if you want to see more. And if you hit the little bell there, then you'll be notified when I put a new video up. And yes, have a, just a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm happy to answer questions and I hope you all take really great care and we'll talk to you very soon. Okay, bye.
Hi, I'm back. So this is the second painting called Stained Glass. And I will show you some dried results of this one as well at the end. And I should have both of these paintings on my website, which is, uh, the link is down below in the description box. I should have them both up for sale. And they look, these small paintings, I really love how they look in these kind of nice floating white frames. I think it looks really nice. So just wanted to let you know, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, take care. Talk soon. Bye.